Hello scholars! My name is Ms. Jeans and I will be working on your first grade skills lessons with you. Today we're on Skills Unit 4, Lesson 4. Our objectives are to say the R sound at the beginning, middle, and end of a word, read one syllable words with R, and read a story with purpose and understanding as well as answer questions. Let's get started with the R sound. R has a long power bar. It looks like all the way across. That means whenever you hear R, it's going to be spelled with an A R, as in car. We might want to call R the pirate sound because what do pirates say? That's right, they say R, just like this sound. A R. Let's practice saying some words that start with A R R. Repeat after me. Arc. Arm. Art. Arch. Those all have the R sound at the beginning. Let's practice some words that have R in the middle. Farm. Hard. Cart. Mark. Lark. Good. Now let's practice some words that have R at the end. Now remember, when I say R, I'm talking about the A and the R together. Car. Jar. Bar. Star. Tar. Good. Now. I'm going to say some words and I want you to give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for if you hear the sound R. Remember, we're listening for the sound R and it can be at the beginning, middle, or end. Give me a thumbs up if you hear it and a thumbs down if you don't. Number one, park. Thumbs up. Number two, kid. Thumbs down. Number three, cart. Thumbs up. Number four, bat. Thumbs down. Number five, march. Thumbs up. Number six, shark. Thumbs up. Number seven, book. Thumbs down. Number eight, chart. Thumbs up. Number nine, yard. Thumbs up. Number 10, fern. Thumbs down. Number 11, harsh. Thumbs up. And the last one, number 12, heard. Thumbs down. I heard some of the other sounds we've been working on. But I heard a lot of words that have what sound in them? That's right, the pirate sound, R. We put together some examples of the er sound, like her, verb, and team. Here are some examples of the R sound, car, park, and arm. 
If you can think of any other examples, write them down and you can share them with us later. Next, let's go to activity page 4.1 in our workbook to practice writing and reading the sound R. Let's start off by reading the words, and then you can write them on your own. First, we have R. Repeat after me. R. Art. Farm. Yarn. Use your best handwriting to practice writing these on the line. Then you can turn to the next page. You're going to read the word and write it underneath the picture that matches. We've done this before, so you should know how to do this on your own. The last thing we've got for today is a new chapter in the Green Fern Zoo book. Remember, this book is a nonfiction book. It has informational text and real facts. Today we're going to read chapter 2. Things that swim. And I can see here that that is on page four. Before we start, let's look at some words we might come across. Repeat after me mark, shark, smart. All of those words have the R sound. Mouth, trout. Both of those, those words have the ow sound. And then two of our tricky words, because and here. Now I've got a few vocabulary words for you that you might need to know to understand this story better. Repeat after me and then I'll tell you what the word means. The first word is creeks. Creeks are streams of water, smaller than a river. We. We just means small. Reef. A reef is a ridge or sand, a ridge of sand or a chain of rocks under the water that might also have ocean plants. Fins. Fins are the part of the ship, part of the fish that help it move along in the water. Gills. Gills are the parts of the fish that allow it to breathe. Squid. A squid is a type of animal that lives and swims in the ocean. And we've got a saying or phrase today. This phrase is bed of a creek. Say it for me, bed of a creek. The bed of a creek is the bottom of a creek that's made up of sand and rocks. Like I said, today's story is going to be called Things That Swim, and we're going to read the chapter to learn the names of different types of animals that you can see swimming at the Green Fern Zoo, as well as what they look like and where they live. Let's read today's story. You can help me read along. Things That Swim. I hope you kids like Things That Swim, because this is the room where we keep all the fish. This here's a heading, trout. The fish here are trout. A trout is a fish that swims in cool lakes and creeks. You can see that they have lots of spots and marks. They have spots and marks. The spots and marks help the trout hide. They make the trout look a lot like the sand on the bed of a creek. If we go over to the picture here, there's a little caption underneath. It says, trout have lots of spots and marks. They make their home in lakes and creeks. Let's 
reef sharks. Here's a big fish that make all of the wee fish run and hide. Remember, wee fish are small fish. This is a reef shark. It has that name because it likes to make its home close to a reef where there are lots of fish. And this picture has a caption too. Reef shark make their home by reef. And here's a picture of the reef shark. what reef sharks look like. You can see that the reef shark has fins and a set of gills on its side. You cannot see them from here, but this shark has lots of sharp teeth in its mouth. Food reef sharks like. Would a reef shark bite you? Well, you are not the lunch this reef shark would like best. A reef shark likes to feed on squid, crab, and shrimp, but it would be smart not to get the reef shark, reef shark mad at you all the same. And this picture says, reef sharks have fins, gills, and sharp teeth. Let's answer some questions about today's story. What's the main topic of today's story? Well, today we learned about some different fish. What type of animals are in today's story? There were two, the reef shark and also the trout. Name the fish described in today's story. We just said the reef shark and the trout. Where would you find a trout? If we look back at the story, we can see that a trout swims in cool lakes and creeks. So that would be where we find them, in cool lakes and creeks. Why might a trout hide in the creek bed? We learned a little bit how trouts have markings that make them look like the creek bed. They might want to blend in to hide from other things that are looking for them. Why does the reef shark like to be near reefs where there are a lot of fish? Well, that would make it easier for them to find food, since that's what they eat, fish. How are trout and reef sharks similar? What is the same about them? Well, trout and reef sharks are both fish. They have gills and fins and they both swim. How are trout and reef sharks different? Well, they actually live in different areas. Reef sharks live in the ocean and trout live in freshwater like lakes and streams or the creeks that we learned about. Well, that's all we've got for today. Great job, and I'll see you tomorrow.